in the CBS 18 game schedule contain no 1A and I can understand you have to get the most attractive team. The same can be said of ABC 20 cards and uh, ESPN cable Saturday night game. We are locked out with seemingly no place to turn. Gentlemen, I hope that the members of this committee will give every consideration to our problem and, and offer constructive solutions. I feel now that after these years and the great contribution that this organization has made to intercollegiate athletics, that the tail is about to wag the dog. Uh, it is uh, television now. It will be recruiting tomorrow. It will be academic standards after that. Then it will be buying athletes next until the whole college athletic structure tumbles down. I'm pleased to have this opportunity to appear before you. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Robinson. Uh, Mr. Ninus? Well, this one here question was always being set forward by other people, but we're going to ask it for us. Where is the lie? Coach Eddie Robinson came up there in front of Congress in the seat of power in America. He came out there and said, everything that's going on today, paying kids to play football, uh, the uh, 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 lack of scholarships, the lack of money, the lack of TV exposure, the academic fallout because of it. A lot of people don't realize football is your main advertisement for your school. Think about that. Football is your main advertisement for your institution. I'll give you a little history about this, if you don't mind. We're going to go back in the past. Florida State was independent. Nobody was going to Florida State until Bobby Bowden showed up. And the enrollment went through the roof. They were on TV. Penn State, independent. Nobody going to Penn State. That's why they're independent. Then Joe Pye came in. We ain't talking about the other stuff with them banging kids in the shower. But Joe Pye came in. Enrollment went through the roof. TV exposure. Coach Rob arguably was better than all of them. The number one, how they say, black national champion. Grambling had a thing, and we'll play anybody anywhere. Sound familiar? We'll play you in Hawaii. We'll play you in LA. We'll play you in Montana. We'll play you in Idaho. Grambling State University didn't back down from anybody. Now, what happened? What's Coach Rob talking about? Coach Rob's talking about the intentional uh, absence of HBCU and FCS schools on TV networks. Yeah, I see Sam Herter showing the whole thing about, oh, 1.6 million for, for this game and 1.5 for that game. Great. There was a point in time where we were all on the same level. And I dare you to bring up uh, information like I have from the Nevada AD saying they were lucky to play a team with Grambling Stature. And I can arguably argue with, I can argue with you and tell you as a point of time that Grambling University was on the level of Texas. And I mean that shit. It came to a point where you had to stop what was going to happen. Especially after the fact, Grambling beat a Power 5 team at Oregon State. <laughs> that wasn't going to happen again. So they went up there with the TV contracts and intentionally left off the FCS and the HBCUs on the major networks, over the air networks. We started the lack of financial gain for these schools. If you look at the fact that we already had integration and the schools lost athletic talent, but they were still giving people to the pros. Still giving people to the Hall of Fame. Still giving people to the Super Bowl. But, we needed to stop that. And what happened after we stopped giving them TV? Linear TV. Well, enrollment dropped. Then, when enrollment dropped, the alumni dropped. And then, 
Lumli dropped, it was nobody to fight the allegations that were put out about lack of money, institutional control, that type of deal. When you don't not get money from the states because the states are taking money from you and not giving it to you, you start to fall apart. And like Coach Ron said, without, without having TV out there to show our sports programs, there was no pressure put on by the audiences to the states to, hey, why haven't you given them the $13 billion they need? So now when it comes time for NIL, like Coach Rob said, you're paying players and we don't have the money to pay the players. We got to start from the bottom, work our way up to the top because we have been screwed in the last 30, 40 years. I ain't going back to slavery. I'm going back 30, 40 years. Institutions of how I learned like Grambling, Prairie View, Alcorn, Hell, Jackson, Valley, uh, Central, uh, A&T, Howard, Hampton, or not Howard, Morgan, Delaware State. These schools have been royally screwed over because they saw the power you could bring in. Once again, Coach Rob would tell you if he was still kicking that football helped build a middle class of young black leaders. And now, if no one can see what they were doing on the field, they saw the only outlet was to go to the Power Five, the Bamas, the Georgias, the Tennessees. Remember, in the 80s, all them players weren't going there. A lot of them players were still going to the SWAC and the MEAC. Ask Jackson State about having four players drafted in one draft in the 90s because the talent was still going there. Now we're looking at people saying, why go to HBCU? Because they don't have the facilities of the Power Five conferences. I beg you to differ. Why go to a Power Five conference if they <laughs> don't want you to learn about yourself? That's all Coach Rob was saying. We are better suited to teach these young black men how to be young black men. Going to a Power Five conference, hey, if you want to get in there, you grew up in that school, great. But don't stop on our dreams to be better at what we can do. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Had to go on a little rant there. It's Coach Simmons. Don't let anybody stop from your dreams. Be that light and shine. I'm out.